came with spleen, which again is Pope poking fun at women. Right? So, um, if I may be so crude, he has created an underworld where like all the worst women's temper <laughs> resides in one place. So, you know, think of that time of the month when you're like, I, I think I'm just gonna like sit in my dorm room and pretend I don't have a girlfriend for a while. All of that, all of that bad feeling is in this one place, the cave of spleen. And, and the guys are like, oh, <laughs> right? But this is the funny, funny cave of spleen. What is Pope talking about? Pope is talking about, okay, you guys, you women, sorry, sorry you women are lovely, angelic creatures, but don't you dare get on the wrong side of this lady, because you got a whole underworld there waiting for you. And finally, Belinda Speaks. You can laugh, it's funny. Pope is hilarious. Belinda Speaks. Line 147, Canto 4. No, Canto, yes, Canto 4. I can't even remember this. It's four. Right before five. Right before five. Okay. 147. We need a we need a female voice. Really? It can be really, really dramatic. Really? Really yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Page 506? Yeah, promise. Line 147? 147. 147. Can't do four? In the rape of the law. Forever. I was looking for one. I'm almost sorry. Forever, can't you please test today? Which snatched my best, my favorite curl away. Happy, oh, ten times happier I have been. The captain caught these eyes I'd never seen. Yet am not I the first mistake in vain. My love caused to numerous ills betray. Oh, had I rather um, unadmired remain in some lone isle or distant northern land, where the gilt chariot never met marks away. <laughs> when I'm green, over. We're still 
And here we've got Homer being invoked all over the place. The gods are fighting, the little gods, the sylphs, all the little creatures, they're just, it's like, it's like that moment in the movie Troy with the two armies that collide with each other, mm -hmm. except the little fairy sylphs. <laughs> they're at it. They're going for it. They're going to by golly, they're going to hurt each other. <laughs> and then the final action, Belinda, what does she do? She distracts the Baron. How so? It's a hidden line. It's a hidden line. And where did I put it? She distracts the Baron by throwing a pinch of snuff 80, at him. 81? 80, yes, 81. Just where the breath of life his nostrils drew, a charge of snuff the wily virgin threw. Anybody tried snuff or know what snuff is? Of course not. So what happens with the uh, Petrie and and the girl? I don't, I don't know. They never said. Maybe it was just a like weird, crazy poetry. <laughs> 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 Maybe it was just like weird, crazy poetry. What would you do if there was a whole poem and your name was like changed to Belinda to protect your <laughs> privacy? But still, there was a poem out there that was immensely popular that described all of this and made it look like a completely hysterical, splenetic woman. <laughs> what would you do? What would your reaction be? That would be an interesting 